Hi, I'm Nigel Howarth and welcome to another Shed Sessions Christmas. And we're going to do the starter today for you. Um, we've got two great ingredients, Morecambe shrimps and Scottish salmon. And this salmon comes down from Dunkeld, um, which is above Edinburgh, sort of near Perth, around that area. And, and it's a great, great traditional smoked salmon. Um, just salt and smoke, nothing else, and great quality Scottish salmon. And one has to say that Scotland, I'm only saying this because my camera guy is uh, Scottish, that um, Scotland do produce some great, great ingredients. Football's not that good though. Anyway, so um, look at that. So, and we've even got a little salmon -y shaped board to do it on. But first of all, we've got to make our butter to pot the shrimps. So, over here we've got 250 grams of butter that I've whipped up. Can you see? Um, nice and light. So give it about, two. make sure that you leave the butter, I, I leave the butter out overnight and then just pop it in and it whips up in about two minutes. So let's go through the ingredients here. We've got parsley, salt, we've got blade mace. Um, so blade mace is the kernel from the nutmeg and it's just a fruitier, edgier spice than nutmeg. I, I absolutely love it. We've got some cayenne pepper, uh, we've got some paprika, we've got 25 grams of shallots, got my muffins here, um, obviously we've got the shrimps, and then to garnish up we've got some lemon and some lemon juice. Okay, so I'm going to put the shrimps onto the muffins and we'll show you how to cut those out in a minute, but let's make the butter here first. So Let's get the lemon juice. So it's juice of a lemon in there. Nutmeg, sorry, nutmeg, mace. <laughs> well, it is the nutmeg family, I suppose. Um, got a, a gram of salt, paprika, 25 grams of shallots, nicely chopped there, okay and some chopped parsley which we're going to do now for you and a little bit of cayenne pepper there we go okay and i've got my new little parsley chopping knife oh god gosh because i watched nigella use this and i thought i feel really like i need to get one of those so actually I've had it for over a year and forgot about it because I got it last year. Um, and uh, yeah, and we're using English parsley for this, not the Italian flat leaf. So we've got a really English Scottish thing going on here. I suppose when you're in Scotland, you're north. When you're in England, Manchester, you're north. But yeah, so I suppose it's a, a northern Scotland England meat. Okay, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? No, not at all. Not at all. And I'll just try and get up this these last bits of parsley. Now it's just a matter of just mixing that thoroughly. Butter's soft, so you don't need to over it. As long as you've got your lemon juice in, you've got your salt in there, you've got all your spices, so we're ready. And butter goes in there. Make sure you get every last drop out of there. Okay, use my little knives there just to get that out. Okay, so i just make sure I've got enough cling film released now and then cut that off. And then roll that just a little bit towards myself. And I'm sort of 
and I'm just pressing it together. And then I want to, I want it the size of this cutter. So if we roll it down now and then press it up and the easiest way to do it, I always find is just to put the cutter right through, roll it, twist it at the end. And then you can keep that in the freezer because butter, once you've added things to it, can taint. It doesn't theoretically go off, but it can taint. So we've got a butter here that we've done earlier. So we've got our shrimps. Let's get that. The cut. Um, these are sort of seven centimeter. Actually, <laughs> oh, <just like> that. <laughs> that's that's a very. <laughs> Somebody sat on that one, I think. Um, so I better <laughs> It must have been strong who sat on that. Right, so put that, that there. So I've got a wanky cutter. Boom. Trust the guy that lent me that, honestly. Um, right, so we can now... I'll just take a piece of paper underneath. And I'm going to light the blowtorch. And just warm my knife a little bit here. Because I just want to put a really thin layer of butter on the bottom. I mean really thin we're talking. And it doesn't matter if it breaks up a little bit. Okay. We can turn that off now for a second. And then and I'll, I'll put, the, um, put a layer on the other two already. And... Pop them in there. We're, look, we're looking at about 30, 20, well, 30 to 35 grams of, of shrimps um, per portion. Because remember, you're giving this with smoked salmon, so, um, and they are expensive, of course. Um, don't forget that. So, but it is Christmas, isn't it? And you want something really lovely. I, d I do think that these guys are ever so special. Little, little shrimps. Don't worry, if, if you just make a mess of one, then just, again, just slice it again. You do want it thin, otherwise you'll have... The reason I'm doing this is, is as well, which I probably haven't said to you, is that doing it the traditional way, um, you get a lot more butter. So I just, I just want to... A lot less butter going into the potted shrimp, so I just want it to sort of drop for you, drop through uh, the shrimps and not be as a block, if you will. Okay. So now I need to very carefully not set the paper on fire and just warm the butter on our shrimps. There you go. And hopefully just let that... I just need it to melt through. But not fully. Okay. And then I can pop those into our fridge. If I can get them in. There you go. And that's the shrimp part of the dish done. And now we're on to the salmon. Um, but I've left the, the muffin in front of you just before I cut the salmon so that you you can see that we just, with a cutter, cut out the muffin, cut it in half, like a so, and then just toast it off. And they're going to then take your shrimps when they come out. Um, the shrimps have been in the fridge for about 10 minutes now, so... Normally we'd pr probably leave them overnight, but we're going to we're going to be a bit risky. We're going to just pop them and 15 minutes later take them out. Right, side of smoked salmon. Golden rules. You, if you're gonna if if you're gonna decut, which is this way of cutting, start round about halfway down or in the middle of the salmon. Okay, and. Make some cuts. Now, if you always check the quality 
of the salmon first. Because that rubbery bit, right at the bottom, hmm, it's always reserved for the chef. Always. Okay. So, any of you out there thinking I'm greedy? So, just the key thing is here is just to try and keep that salmon as thin as possible. Mike sent me this side of salmon down with greetings from Dunkeld. Um, it's a great product. Um, great place to visit because Aaron Bakery is in the same village. So if you're ever up in Scotland, get down to Dunkeld. And thank you, the Scottish Tourism Board, for sponsoring that session. Um, <laughs> okay, so I just missed the end bit there. Um, so I'm just going to try and I try and make sure you just keep going right till the end. And and sometimes people will say, well, use that end bit for you know, you can make a salmon patty or something like that. Um, you can also buy the salmon sliced and in packets, and you know, you just need to go online to do that. But it, this is Christmas. This is your starter for Christmas. So I think it is really really worth. Um, if you want to, doing it by hand and doing it, I just think that it just tastes that little bit better when you cut it yourself. And you can see how thin. <laughs> you should be able to see through your salmon. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So I think one more slice um, will be perfect. And of course here, you've got enough for 12 people or more. Okay, so put the salmon on and just try and get the salmon uh, when you put it on, just to sort of feel natural. I mean, it's, you've got such a beautiful, beautiful product. Um, you don't want to put it flat. I, you know, it just wants to be lovely and free and natural. Um, so I'll slice another, another slice or two. And again, you do need a good knife. And I'm going to take that. Now this board's interesting because Nick, who um, I used to work with uh, many moons ago, uh, is in Dunkeld now up in Scotland and uh, he made me this board, very kind of him, um, for the smoked salmon that uh, Mike sent down. So I think that's, um, that, that's, a, that's a decent portion, wouldn't you say? Um, so... Um, we can just put that smoked salmon to one side now. Um, and then we'll try and get uh, pop the shrimps onto our crouton. And you can see how lovely and delicate they are, rather than being heavily potted. Um, but it does take a little bit more detail just to get that just, just right. Um, and of course, I think, you know, as, as we're eating more sensibly or, or we're trying to, I think it's a really good thing. Um, and then just pop that on there and then all we need to do is just pop those just to warm in our oven I've got a couple of lemons and a nice piece of dill
like so and here we go and you can just whoa where's my little, uh, little spoon oh, actually it's quite nice that oven being open because it's uh it's not that warm in here today so we can just pop that on there like so oh and it will just melt the cockles of your heart okay and there's your dunkel smoked salmon and morecambe bay potted shrimps what a great way to start christmas thank you hi i'm nigel howard if you like what you've just seen then subscribe to our youtube channel or follow us on social media enjoy